This problem's actually really easy to solve, as long as you have a calculator. Where's the squiggle button? Your calculator is your best friend for half of the AP Calc exam, but it's not going to help you if you don't know how to use it. Here are some of the most common buttons you need to know how to use for calculus, as demonstrated on my TI-84. If you see a mistake when subtracting, you might have used the wrong negative. This negative here is for subtraction, this one makes a number negative. Your basic trick functions are here. To get those inverses, press the blue second button first. There's no button for secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Just use their definitions with the basic trick functions. We've got convenient buttons for reciprocals, squaring, logarithms, and natural logarithms. Use the second button to find pi, e, and the square root. And we have a lot of hidden gems in the math menu. We've got a third root, we have an nth root, and down here, you can find a logarithm with a base that isn't 10 or e without having to use the change of base formula. And make sure you know how to find absolute value. Go to math, over to our num menu, and your absolute value function is right here. And as for that squiggle, well, you'll learn about that in calculus.